Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. This is episode 13 as the nation of Austria in the Great War mod here in Hearts of Iron 4. And as you can see, there is actually a war going on I did not realize was going on. And that is over here. It appears that the Entente is fighting against the Soviet Union. And I did not realize this was happening, and I'm not entirely sure why it's happening. Uh, so let's take a look real quick here. And I guess that's part of the Soviet-Russian war that continues. Uh, the Entente is fighting on behalf of Russia to gain land back from the Soviets. So it's just unfortunate that for some reason we could not get the Soviets to join the war on our side. They do have military access to us, and we have it to them. But other than that, they're kind of on their own. So... Um, at least that keeps the Entente a little bit busy over there fighting against the Soviets. So I suppose that takes a little pressure off. But we're continuing to focus on France and driving this battle line westward and hoping and praying that the United States does not decide to enter the war on the side of the Entente because I don't think I could overcome that. We're holding off naval invasions right and left over here. I am continuing to build fortifications strengthening my Adriatic wall which seems to be going really well they really haven't come close to success there in the meantime every so often the game hangs up a little bit as it just did Not entirely sure why that happens, but it happens, it seems, on every mod, and that's why. Because something big was happening. The Russian Civil War, which broke out shortly after the Revolution, brought death and suffering to millions of people. The war was fought mainly between the Red Army, consisting of uprising majority led by the Bolshevik minority, and the Whites. Army officers and Cossacks, the bourgeoisie, and political groups ranging from the far right to socialist revolutionaries who opposed the drastic reconstructing... Uh, restructuring championed by the Bolsheviks. The Whites had backing from nations such as Great Britain, France, USA, and Japan, while the Reds sported internal domestic support, support from which, uh, which proved to be much more effective. All right. So there you have it. Civil War in Russia yet again. Not sure how yet that's going to affect me, except it pushed world tension to 37%. So now there's the Soviet-Russian War and the Russian-Soviet War. Not entirely sure what's different about the two, other than one's the aggressor and one's the defender in each. But we're getting ever so close to that magic number of 40% in world tension, which is what I need in order to be able to change my law to allow more manpower. All right, so we have completed, finally... The Cult of the Offensive Doctrine, which I hate, but it is historically accurate. That's what the Central Powers believed in. So now I get to make a change. And I believe I'm going to go with Mobile Warfare because I'm going to focus more on tanks. Um, but not entirely sure that's the way to go. I'm definitely not going to go with Mass Assault Doctrine because I just don't have the manpower for that. I think mobile warfare or superior firepower is probably the way to go. I just have to decide which one is going to be most effective long term. I think long term mobile warfare is the way to go because things are going to go more and more in the direction of tanks. And I have to think beyond just 1917. I have to think even to the next war that could happen. So that's the way we'll go. And we do have uh, our first light tank uh, being researched here. It'll be done in about 63 days. I'm really surprised there's still naval combat going on. I can't even believe I still have a navy. All right, so let's see what's happening over here. He's invading again. I don't know why I even bother keep, to keep on looking because the naval invasions end so quickly. 
All right, so we're winning some battles. It looks like he's kind of on the offensive at the moment, but we're, we're winning all of those battles where he's on the offensive. At some point, I'll have to turn this around on him. But we're not at the place yet where that's going to happen, so... I've got so much experience that I can't spend because I just don't have the manpower to be making changes to divisions. All right, there's equipment effort two. Right now we're just doing a lot of research in things that will help with doctrines and uh, research areas because there's just not a lot else I can do at the moment. I guess at some point I can work on air focus. But again, I don't have the manpower to really be putting a lot of extra aircraft into the field. I guess we can get down here and eventually get an extra research slot. That might be kind of nice. Right, what are we missing? Infrastructure effort. Right there. Okay. Oh, and we're good to go. All right. Once again, fighting off another naval invasion. Ho-hum. I wonder if... Looks like he's pulled back a lot of his units over here. I wonder if now is the time to try and break through. Of course, I made that mistake once before, and it ended badly trying to attack here. But I just can't help myself. I don't actually have a plan to attack him. Okay. And go! Or not. Oh yeah, there we go. Another failed attack. That's going to go badly again. Okay. I don't know why I even attempted that. I should have known better. Okay, the Dutch courtesan Marth uh, Margarita McLeod, better known by the pu public as Matahari, has been tried and executed for espionage by France. Though found guilty easily, complaints of a fixed trial from the defense attorney seemingly exaggerated charges, such as responsibility for the deaths of 50,000 French soldiers, are arousing whispers of the so-called master spy ring being nothing more than a scapegoat for the army's failings. All right. We thank you for your service. Oh boy. Arthur Zimmerman has authored, uh, authorized a diplomatic offer to Mexico asking for Mexican support against the Entente in exchange for German support in the case of the American intervention and, of course, territorial compensation in the latter case. Mexico has refused this agreement. Of course, the Zimmerman telegram was one of the triggers that led to the United States entering the war on the side of the Entente, which we desperately hope does not happen. But I just have a terrible feeling... It's going to happen. But right now, he's not focused on that. He does have a tree that will lead him down that road to a declaration of war in Germany. And I don't have enough research ability to be able to see whether or not he has gone down that road. So right now, all I can do is hope and just keep an eye on what he's researching. All right, let's continue. Belgium's got a hundred and... Okay, it showed Belgian flag, but I guess that's not just the Belgians. All right, so let's take a look. We're now up to almost 800,000 lost, but France is finally catching up to us. Between France and the UK, they've lost over a million now. Japanese have been losing a lot, but things are still a complete stalemate. wonder if I can get any of these divisions into the field, and I can. Excellent. Six more divisions I can get into the field. Oh, stop. You're never going to break through there. Just quit attacking. All right. All right. Now we got to figure out where we're going to break through next here. Where should be the next plan of attack? Let's go and find out. Okay.
I'm just gonna manually tell these guys where to go. In this case, I think we'll go right here. Alright. So we just got a little bonus to soft attack. Every little bit helps. So I'm glad for that. We're 10 days away from getting our first light tanks. That's also a good thing. There's a little bonus to research time, so we'll go ahead and go after that one. Air wings with no mission, okay. Not entirely sure we can rebase these guys, but we'll go ahead and give it a try. Yep, looks like we have the ability to do that. Once they get over to their new base and over Byron, we can go ahead and get them into the field, okay. All right, none of the battles going particularly well on the Western Front at the moment. But, all right, there's light tanks. Now, we got to figure out how to use these guys. We can't go after another one because we're well behind there. I don't think we're going to worry about super heavy tanks right now. Let's look at... Boosts to support battalions, perhaps. Um, okay, field hospital too. That's actually probably a good thing. Considering our manpower issues. 37%. Come on. Let's see what's happening with the war in Russia. Um, so it looks like it's going, I think, fairly well for the Russians. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Especially since there are two of them here. Um, but I believe that the Russians are doing well because this one's going in favor of the defenders, which are the Russians. This one's going in favor of the aggressors, which are the Russians. And that we desperately do not want to see happen. We don't want Russia to win that war. I wonder if it's possible to do a Lend-Lease with the Soviets. Probably not, but it's at least worth looking into. Now, world tension. World tension is just biting me in the butt everywhere I look. All right. Come on, let's get some breakthroughs against the French here. And we also need to look at new... We should have a new division now with those light tanks. Light armor, here we go. I think I'm going to cancel production of these Strasser Panzerwagens in favor of light armor. And of course, again, the problem will be manpower. But now we need to start producing some light tanks. Back off on support equipment and on early heavy tank 2 in favor of the light tanks. Not going to be producing a lot to start, but eventually we'll get more of them going. All right, construction is moving along nicely on our further upgrades to the Atlantic Wall. And I'm going to keep that going because um, I don't want him getting anywhere close to being able to, to land on my shore. I believe the, uh, speaking of landings on the shore, yeah, um, we have successfully driven the Entente out of Germany up here, so that's helpful. All right, where was I? Trade. Let's take a look at trade. All right, we can back off on trading for, for steel from the Germans a little bit. Everywhere else, it looks like we're pretty good. Okay. Man, it's just really not going well anywhere at the moment. So how about we shift our focus a tad with some of my divisions. See if this helps turn things around. Eight hundred and sixty one thousand casualties. My casualty figure has gone up significantly in the last few months. There we go. Now we're starting to see some successes. 
Well, I thought. Come on, Soviet Union. So, okay, they're focusing right now on driving Japan out of here and getting rid of that foothold. Once they do that, they'll probably be able to turn their focus back around on Russia. So I, I, I see what you're doing there, Lenin. I like it. All right, there's infrastructure. Effort three. Again, none of this, I don't think, is particularly helpful to me at the moment. And we, we have a lot that we need to do in order to be able to get that extra research slot. All right, there we go. That should do it. All right. Come on, guys. Let's keep pressing ahead. Right here is where I want to see some success. I want to see a breakthrough there. As long as things keep pushing in that direction, I am happy. And of course, looking at the, the war, which is still known as the German-Belgian War, it is still a 0-0 zero, zero stalemate overall. No, not all of them. Not all of them. Oh, boy. I think I just accidentally gave an order to base... No, okay. Just the mountain divisions. I've sent them over there to try and assist with that fight. Here we go. Let's get a breakthrough here. This is what I'm watching. It's moving in the right direction. couple more weeks by the way if you have and this is not an endorsement um, I'm not getting paid for this or anything but if you haven't had the Mountain Dew green label it's green apple kiwi fantastic I have one every morning for breakfast now it's my new thing I don't drink coffee so this is what I do in the morning to wake myself up I recognize it's not the most healthy thing in the world but they're so good All right, let's see. Really just largely ignoring the Navy. Just don't feel like there's a lot that that helps me with right now. I guess we're going to focus on infantry at the moment. And there are some things we can do that will help, like this. Early support weapons 3. All right, starting to see some green on the front with France. That's what I like to see. Not so much over here. I don't know why I got into this mess again. I don't know what I was thinking. Come on, guys. Maybe I should be focusing on taking Belgium out of the war. That might be a better use of my forces. Got a, one more brigade I can get into the field there. And then, of course, we're waiting on manpower. Every time that noise goes off, I just laugh because as soon as I go to check the naval invasion, it's already over. I honestly don't know why he keeps doing that.
All right, I've gone over a million in losses now, and I know that I'm not replacing them that fast. So my effectiveness in combat is obviously going down by the day. Desperately, desperately need to be able to change my conscription laws. All right, looks like things have turned around a little bit in the Russian-Soviet War. Then again, I think it's because they changed their focus from fighting Japan over here to fighting against Russia. So it's basically a choose your poison. All right, now we don't need torpedoes, that's for sure. Let's look at industry for a minute here. All right, we're going to go with supply consumption reduction. Come on, let's get some breakthroughs here. Alright, we need to keep one eye on the United States to see what they're up to and make sure they're not planning to enter this war. Oh, they're planning their reaction to the Zimmerman Zimmerman telegram. Alright. That's all oh, man, that's all the way down here. Jeez. The next thing is declaration of war on Germany. Not good. Not good at all. It might be time for me to leave this war, because we are right at the point at which the United States entered this war. Just when I'm starting to have some success. Of course, what's going to happen is the United States is going to enter the war. That's going to raise... Oh, world tension just went way down. What happened? One of the wars end? I don't know. Something happened. But uh, the U.S. is going to enter this war. That's going to push world tension up enough that I'll be able to make a change. The United States is justifying against us. Here we go. So then I'll be able to change my conscription laws, which means I'll just be able to get more men into the field in order to have them die fighting against the United States. What a mess. Not cool at all. So really, the only chance I had in this fight was to win the war early enough that the United States couldn't get in and make a difference. I don't think anti-Russian policy matters at this much at this point too much. Armament effort isn't really going to help me much without the manpower to go with it. All right, so my morale is somewhat deflated at this point because of the impending doom coming from the United States entering the war. However, I will still celebrate successes as they happen, and it looks like we're about to have one. I wish I had the ability just to drop out of this war. Of course, that's not even an option for me, because we're not losing badly enough for me to drop out. Just need manpower for some of these things to be able to get them into the field. Alright, so we broke through here, but now it looks like France has got some of our troops surrounded. Not cool. So it's August of 1917, 
I'm sure, I don't want to look, but I'm sure that the United States is working on declaration of war against Germany, and they are. They are probably just a month or two away from that, and all of this is going to go downhill big time. Because I'm not in any position to be able to stop them from getting troops into France. So we'll wrap it up right there. But it's about to go south, and go south in a big way. Um, I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of the feedback I've been getting on all my videos. Um, if you have any to add, please use that comment section below. And we will see you hopefully tomorrow with another episode as we see what happens with the United States entering the war. Have a great week, guys.